Jan, welcome back uh, to Grand Chess Tour. Welcome back to Bucharest. Nice to see you here. Um, I've been wondering um, at which stage of your life you are right now, because after playing so many candidates, two world championship matches, been through so much ups and downs, like what is your, what are your goals right now? What, where are you right now? Uh, I'm now in Bucharest. Yeah, thank you for the warm welcome. Uh, though I don't think my goals really change it. So you know, at some point I would would consider like becoming let's say less professional uh, right after the Toronto the Toronto candidates finished. But uh, then uh, I thought okay, well like uh, actually not much has happened. So well, the next candidates tournament is um, in about two years, and uh, okay, my goal is to qualify there, and then let's see what happens. But now we have uh, the summer full of events uh, for GCT tournaments. Uh, what are your expectations? What are you going to do? Well, I have no big expectations. I'm not particularly sure about my my condition because uh, yeah, I think I took a decent break, like almost like two months of tournament chess uh, since since uh, April. But uh, yeah, of course, uh, whenever I enter an event, I try to play well, and uh, yeah, I would be of course happy to play well and yeah. Possibly win, yeah. This Grand Chess Tour event is uh, really interesting and the field is quite different. Many youngsters are playing. What do you think about it? What do you think? It, will it affect a little bit uh, the tournament itself and um, uh, the atmosphere of the event in the sense that more decisive games may, may happen, more risks players will take? Well, it could be, but you never know until uh, until it starts. But yes, whenever you, you, know, you see mm, you know, the new generation of players, they you know, they seem to be more fighting, but I think that's not because of like the major changes in style, uh, but uh, mostly because of like the optimism of youth. Yeah, so you know, let them get some more experience, and I think they would be they would look like like more and more like some experienced old guns. And you know, Magnus said before that maybe I'll, I'll, I'm going to teach them a lesson or two. Are you going to do the same? I would be happy to, yeah, but uh, it's also quite possible that I will receive some lessons. Everything is possible in this world and um, um, what, what do you think, um, I mean, absorbing the strengths and achievements of this young generation right now, is it, is it motivating you as well to, to work more on your chess? Well, I just, I'm motivated, uh, you know, by, by myself, you know, mostly, yeah, like become the better version, yeah, and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, honestly, since I'm like sort of like trying to to win the title, it's, uh, you know, I don't think I need some extra motivation from. Who do you think will be fighting for GCT um, top places, except you, of course? Well, I'm not, I wouldn't be that sure about me. Uh, okay, but okay, the good answer would be me, myself and I, yeah, but <laughs> honestly, well, it could be either like, for example, like, Previous year winner Fabiano, who is an excellent player, but yeah, you know, uh, it's sometimes it's difficult to maintain your level right after like a big tournament like the match of the candidates. So I mean, it, it's already in the books, but still, it's uh, it has its own like has its own influence, of course, uh, on your let's say on your motivation, on your energy level. So it's very competitive. So I think uh, another big is playing great this year, and uh, also might might be that some some Indian youngsters could. Uh, I you know could uh, show something, but um, yeah, we'll see. Exactly, we'll see. Thank you so much, Jan, and all the best of luck for you. Thank you.